Hello, welcome to watch the creative proteomics videos about mass spectrometer, one of the most popular techniques to study proteins. Today, we are going to learn some knowledge about basic types of mass analyzer. The mass spectrometry consists of three main components, the ion source, the mass analyzer, and the detector. In the mass analyzer, the ions are sorted and separated according to their mass and charge. The sample and reduction system is essential to admin the samples into the ion source. A computer and software are also important. The mass analyzer is the heart of the mass spectrometer. It separates them based on charge to mass ratios. There are several general types of mass analyzers, magnetic sector, time of flight, quadrupole, and ion trap. In magnetic sector mass analyzer, ions are accelerated so that they have the same kinetic energy. All the ions are accelerated into a focused beam. And then the ions are deflected by the magnetic field according to masses of ions. The lighter ions have more deflection than the heavier ones. The amount of deflection depends on the number of the positive charges. When similar ions pass through the magnetic field, they all will be deflected to the same degree and will all follow the same trajectory path. Those ions which are not selected will collide with either side of the flight tube wall or will not pass through the slit to the detector. A time of flight analyzer consists of a pulsed ion source, an accelerating grid, a field free flight tube, and a detector. The flight time needed by the ions with a particular mass to charge, accelerated by a potential voltage, to reach the detector placed at a distance, can be calculated. At high masses, not all the ions of the same mass to charge values reach their ideal velocities. To fix this problem, often a reflection which consists a series of ring electrodes with high voltage is added to the end of the flight tube. Because of the high voltage, an ion is reflected in the opposite direction, when it into the reflection. For the ions of same mass to charge value, faster ions travel further than the slower ones into the reflections. In this way, both the slow and fast ions of the same mass to charge value reach the detector at the same time. The reflection increases resolution by narrowing the broadband range of flight times for a single mass to charge value. Quadrupole consists of four parallel metal rods and each opposing rod pair is connected together electrically. One pair of rods is applied with a radio frequency voltage, while another one is applied with a direct current voltage. At a given frequency voltage and direct current voltage combination, only the ions of a particular mass to charge show a stable trajectory and can be transmitted to the detector, while other ions with unstable trajectories don't pass the rod, because the amplitude of their oscillation becomes infinite. By changing frequency and direct current voltage and time, usually at a fixed ratio, ions with different mass to charge values, can be transmitted to the detector one after another. An ion trap is a device that can store ions. There are several types of ion trap, 3D ion trap, linear ion trap, orbit trap ion trap, and Fourier transform ion cyclotron resonance. The three-dimension ion trap mass analyzer uses three electrodes to trap ions in a small volume. It consists of a cylindrical ring electrode and two end cap electrodes. A mass spectrum is obtained by changing the electrode voltages to eject the ions from the trap. The end cap electrodes contain holes for the introduction of ions from an external ion source, and for the ejection of ions towards an external detector. By creating a potential well for the ions, the linear ion trap can be used as a mass filter or as a trap. The linear ion trap uses a set of quadrupole rods to confine ions radially, by a two-dimensional radio frequency field. And a static electrical potential on end electrodes, confine the ions axially. Ions are confined by application of appropriate radio frequency and direct currency voltages, with their final position maintained within, the center section of the ion trap. The radio frequency voltage is adjusted, and multi-frequency resonance ejection waveforms are applied to the trap, to eliminate all, but the desired ions in preparation for subsequent fragmentation, and mass analysis. Orbitrap is the newest high-resolution mass analyzer. In Orbitrap, moving ions are trapped in an electrostatic field. The electrostatic attraction towards the central electrode is compensated by a centrifugal force that arises from the initial tangential velocity of ions. The electrostatic field, which ions experience inside the Orbitrap forces them to move in complex spiral patterns. 
The axial component of these oscillations can be detected, as an image current on the two halves of an electrode encapsulating the orbit trap. A Fourier transform is employed to obtain oscillation frequencies for ions with different masses, resulting in an accurate reading of their mass to charge values. The Fourier transform ion cyclotron resonance mass analyzer consists of three main sections, excitation plates, trapping plates, detector plates, and they consist of cell. Ions which are affected by a magnetic field move at a cyclotron frequency. After a radio frequency voltage at the same frequency of cyclotron frequency is applied, the ions absorb energy and accelerate to a larger orbit radius than their original path. After excitation, the cyclotron radius of ions still remains the larger state. And as the ions around approach to the top and bottom plate, the electrons travel from top to bottom. The motion of electrons between these two plates produces a detectable current. The decay over time of the image current resulting after applying a short radio frequency sweep is transformed from the time domain into a frequency domain signal by a Fourier transform. This video has referenced these articles. Thanks for watching our video. At Creative Proteomics, we provide the most reliable results using mass spectrometer. If you have any questions or specific requirements, please do not hesitate to contact us.